Good Monday morning. I've been tracking Tropical Storm Elsa throughout the weekend. It did slow down and it is currently over Cuba right now dealing with some torrential rainfall. Of course, tropical storm force winds and the potential, unfortunately, for life threatening flash floods and mudslides here across the island. And here's the 5 a.m. advisory. If you're just waking up and joining us, not much has changed overnight. Max has seen winds 65 miles an hour moving northwest at 14 miles an hour forecast to continue to move northwest across Cuba throughout the day today and then heading into the Florida Straits and near the Keys as we head into tonight and overnight. So there you see all the tropical storm watches and warnings, hurricane watches and warnings for parts of Cuba and then the Keys under tropical storm watches and warnings as well as the center of Elsa is forecast to move near or close to Key West as we head into late tonight and overnight and that's when tropical storm conditions are expected and the worst of the weather is anticipated and then also will continue continue in the eastern Gulf of Mexico to lift northward here right up the west coast where there is the highest threat for tropical storm conditions at this time could be making landfall. Let's say either Tampa or even up through the Big Bend. It's still too soon to say, but it is a forecast to take a turn to the northeast across the Big Bend heading into Wednesday and then by Thursday, Georgia and the Carolinas. So all the southeast coast here and our state dealing with Elsa here as we head throughout the next few days. So tropical storm watch is in effect for the upper keys and then the middle to lower keys under tropical storm warning from Craig Key westward to the dry Tortugas. Tropical storm warnings and watches up and down the west coast. And in terms of the estimated time of arrival for the tropical storm conditions for the keys, heads up, it'll likely be around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., but it could be sooner or later, all depending on what happens as also moves across Cuba, the interaction with the mountainous terrain there in the land. And if it weakens or it slows down a little bit or maybe it speeds up, we'll have to wait and see, but I would say just prepare for those conditions to go downhill as we head into the evening hours tonight and overnight and through tomorrow still dealing with the effects of Elsa as it continues into the eastern Gulf because of all the moisture and the fact that we're going to be on the east side. So yeah, Miami Dade and Broward, although we're not in the cone, we're going to be dealing with some gusty storms as well. And already as we're looking at the radar this morning, there are a lot of storms offshore, a lot of lightning here just to the east of Miami Beach earlier and also stormy across extreme southern Dade County and now pushing into Homestead. Key Largo, Tavernier, soggy morning for you all. Winds are calm or light. Keep in mind, could see some haze or smoke due to the fireworks last night in spots. Upper 70s, low 80s, warm and steamy. So here are the weather headlines. The worst weather, obviously, in the Keys tonight into tomorrow. Tropical storm conditions, storm surge, heavy rain, flooding, isolated tornadoes will be possible for the Keys, especially for the lower middle Keys. Gusty storms still will be wrapping around and moving across parts of Miami-Dade and Broward from time to time.